or high. Timbuktu The city in the north of the central part of Mali in 13 came to the north from Niger River. The capital of the self-proclaimed state of Azawad. 2012-2013 The population makes 35330 people for 2012 The city reached economic blossoming in the first half of the 14th century at Mansa to Massa. At this time Timbuktu was the intellectual and Islamic spiritual center in the central Sudan. Today in the city there are several large madrasas, including Sankar's Madrasa and also three oldest mosques of the Western Africa. The trade city the medieval center of the Arab culture at well is founded on the road crossing and caravan tracks, in the 11th century as Timbukta, the place to bot, where uses on a Berber dialect, place to bot, a woman's personal name. Widespread version of the name Timbuktu, a modern official form Timbuktu. Geography and climate The city is in a bend of Niger River. So called to the internal delta of Niger. On the southern outskirts of the Sahara Desert. The problem of expansion of the desert is relevant for the city. City streets are filled with sand, once deep sleeves of the river bringing to the city of a flood dried. At the beginning of the 20th century the city was Trudnadasige. Down the river Niger it was only possible to reach Timbuktu when water level was rather high. Often brought the caravan road sand. Climate hot and sharply continental. Among modest vegetation acacias, baobab and palm trees prevail. Average annual temperature is 28 C, the hottest months, May and June. Average temperature of 34 C. An average amount of precipitation, about 117. The greatest number of rainfall drops out from July to August. About 56, 66. The rains which are dropping out during this period often cause an essential loss to Pi's walled buildings. As of 2012 the population of Timbuktu makes 35330 people. According to a census of 1998 it totaled 31973 persons. This city is geographically located on crossing of fields of resettlement of the nomadic Berber, settled African and Arab population. Main ethnic groups Tuaregs, Fulba and Kunt Most of the population speaks in Gaiski languages. Arab, French and Tamashka is also widespread. Timbuktu was founded by Tuaregs about 1100 as the parking lot of Saharan caravans. Traditionally it is considered that the name of the city comes from the words of Uzes, Place, and Bukta, a name of the old Malian woman living once in this region at whom the Arab dealers conducting caravans on the north stopped. According to other etymological version which is put forward by the French orientalist René Bassitam in language of Tamashka of Tingbukt means the remote place on the edge of the earth. In the 14th century of man's mass built here the palace, from which there is no trace left also, and also the cathedral mosque with a characteristic tower is reconstructed. My 15th century of Timbuktu became one of the main centers of trans-Saharan trade in which salt and gold came true.
after merchants. Berber Arab and Jewish In the prospering city the Arab scientists and scribes who began to teach in one of the most ancient madrasas of Sankor rushed. Antique Greek manuscripts are still stored in the city. In 1433 control over the city was received by two Arabs, however they lived outside city strengthenings and only occasionally disturbed citizens the attacks. In 1468 Timbuktu was a part of the state Sangha. The local governor Sani Ali undertook persecutions on erudite Muslims, however his son Mamadou Tour, Muhammad Ashija, led business in such a way that to the city scientists from Mecca and Cairo began to be flown down. On the contrary, the educated governor brought closer many of which to the yard and made the advisors. Visitors from Maghreb exchanged here for Saharan salt gold and slaves. The golden age of Timbuktu ended in 1591 when the city was occupied by the army of the Moroccan Sultan Ahmad al-Mansur equipped with firearms. The scientific community was accused of treachery and either exterminated or stolen in Morocco. The group placed by the Sultan in the city wasn't able to resist two attacks of Berber's nomads which subjected the city to utter ruin from time to time. So proceeded till 1893 when the French colonialists came to Timbuktu. By this time the economic power of the city was significantly undermined in connection with decline of trans-Saharan trade after adjustment of commercial relations with Europe by sea. Since the Middle Ages Timbuktu in Europe was known as a fantastically rich city. At the end of the 18th century the European researchers made several attempts of detection once of the shopping center largest in sale. In 1795 and in 1805 Mungo Park as a part of the African Association tried to find the city and at the same time to explore the mouth of Niger River. Probably M. Um, Park became the first European visited the city, but he died in the territory of Nigeria, without having managed to tell in writing about what was seen. In 1824, the French Geographical Society offered a prize in 10,000 francs to that not Muslim someone will manage to visit the city, to return back and to write about what was seen. In September 1826 Alexander Gordon Loon reached Timbuktu, but was killed by the Muslim dealer who was afraid of the European penetration and gain. On June 17, 1825 Lang sailed in Tripoli. From there he went to a way through the Sahara. Having passed from Tripoli to the northern outskirts of Fezzan, the expedition moved from there the west and the way, new to Europeans, through Oasis Gadames and the Anusala. Having lived in the Anusala from November 1825 to January 1826, Lang reached an oasis toot. From there he assumed to go to Timbuktu, to travel over the Lake Jenner Debo, to visit the area of Meli. Then he intended to return back, to reach Sokoto, to visit the Lake Chad and to try to leave to Neil. However when the caravan which Lang joined left Toot, he was attacked by two wrecks. One of participants of an expedition was killed, Lang is seriously injured. Soon epidemic of dysentery carried away in a grave of all his other satellites. Despite everything, Lang managed to finish the most difficult and most dangerous transition through the Sahara and to enter on August 13, 1826 the city of the dream, Timbuktu. Obviously, he was the first European after Benedetto Day, 1466, who entered there voluntarily.
and Timbuktu Lang began to recover gradually from wounds. Recovery went slowly, but thanks to the letters of recommendation brought from Tripoli, and to dedicated cares of the owner of the patient wasn't exposed to prosecutions from locals. Having examined in detail Timbuktu, Lang went to Kabra at night to see Jalibu, Niger. Lang didn't want to come back to Europe through the Great Desert, and expected to visit Chen and Segu, and then to leave to the French settlements on Senegal. In the letter Lang told the British consul in Tripoli dated on September 21, 1826 that he intends to move to Segu and headwaters of Niger. It was the only letter written to them from Timbuktu, and the last which in general was received from him. In five days after Lang left Timbuktu, the fanatic Mohamdan, the Sheikh Hamdul Tabib, the leader of the tribe joined his caravan. Under a pretext, the fact that Lang as if without the permission entered on the territory of this tribe he was seized and suggested to accept Islam. Lang refused and said that he prefers death to recreancy. Right there on the place by order of the Sheikh Lang was strangled by two slaves, and the body mist thrown in the desert. All forwarding materials were gone. In 1829 Frenchman René Colley, having dressed up as the Muslim, I managed to visit the city, to return safely to Europe and to win a prize. Besides, in 1813 Robert Adams, Afro-American seaman who arrived to the British consulate in Tangier said that he managed to visit the city in 1811 after his ship suffered shipwreck at the coast of Africa. In 1816 he published the book, The Narrative of Robert Adams, Barbary Captive, however researchers call in question the validity of his stay in the city. It is known, however, that three more Europeans reached the city till 1890. These are Germans Heinrich Barth and Oscar Lenz in 1853, and Spaniard Cristobal Benitez in 1880. In 1989, Pies Wald buildings in the downtown were put under protection of UNESCO as a monument of the world heritage, and in 20 honored the government of Luxembourg and a number of the international funds started the project on preservation and studying of numerous medieval manuscripts which are stored in Timbuktu and its vicinities. The total number is estimated in hundreds of thousands. The most ancient go back to the 12th century. In the 1990th of Timbuktu among the other cities of Mali and Niger it was captured by a revolt of Tuaregs. 1990, 1995. On April 1, 2012, during another revolt of Tuaregs, the city is occupied by troops of Endor, and on April 6, became the capital of the self proclaimed independent state of Azawad. On June 26, fighters crushed seven burials, and on June 28, Islamists broke from Mosque Collar Loop City Yaha. In this regard, at the 36th session of Committee of the World Heritage of UNESCO of Timbuktu, it was entered in the World Heritage List under the threat of destruction. During the anti-terrorist operation which began in January 2013, on January 27 the city was occupied by Malian and French troops. Insurgents left the city without fight, however at the same time burned the building of the historic research center Ahmed Baba, including library in which about 100,000 Arab and ancient Greek manuscripts entering the World Heritage List, UNESCO, were stored. Subsequently it became known that manuscripts were secretly saved. For several months under control of Islamists of Timbuktu lived under laws of Sharia. Economy Today Timbuktu, the poor city, despite a large number of sites and the international airport, 
in the city since the Middle Ages extract rock salt. In the 15th century in the city several Muslim mosques and Quranic schools, the largest of which, the Mosque Sankor. 1581 at which the madrasa in which I taught began to work including Ahmad Babal Abalma Masufi whose name was often mentioned in Sudanese chronicles. He was also mentioned in the books. Verna, five weeks in the balloon, as the owner of library in 1,600 manuscripts, were built. The importance of the city as religious cultural center is confirmed by the West African Muslim saying. Salt arrives about the north, gold, from the south, and the word of God and wisdom, from Timbuktu. The main property of the city, more than card manuscripts. A part of which is dated 12th century. Stored by several families. Most of them on astronomy, music, biology and piety are written on Arab or in Fula language by the Islamic scientists who arrived in Mali. Later manuscripts are devoted to questions of the Islamic law, mathematics and history. In particular chronicles, Tariq al-Fatish, the expert Sudan written by Mahmoud Khatia in the 16th century and Tariq. Sudanese chronicles written down by Abdurrahman Saudi in the 17th century. The library of the Institute of Ahmed Baby founded in the 1970th year by the government of Mali with mediation of UNESCO and also library of Madrasa Sankor contains some medieval manuscripts. A part of manuscripts is in private libraries which in the city is from 60 to 80. Amahedara Library, Fonda Katie Library, Alwangari Library, Muhammad Taha Library. The manuscripts which are in the city today represent the incomplete list of the medieval manuscripts written to Timbuktu. Part of them in colonial time was taken out to London, Paris and other cities. Many manuscripts disappear the owners. In February, 2006, the Giant Research of the Republic of South Africa and Mali on search and studying of manuscripts in Timbuktu and other regions of the Western Africa, such as in Sokoto, was begun. On January 29, 2013, Islamist militants set fire to library, architecture and sites. The majority of buildings of Aitlin Abitna are also built in the Sahelo style. The largest constructions, mosques. The Cathedral Mosque Jingab are built in 1327 by El Sajeli. Sankar's Madrasa constructed at the beginning of the 15th century. The Mosque City Yaha built in 1441. Museum, hanging gardens and water tower. Famous natives. Al Fadi is the famous fashion designer of Niger. Also far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.